to speak to. Cool. Yep. Uh, do you want to get... Here, Daniel, you can go and chat. <clears throat> All right. Oh, goodness. We are on the bleeding edge these days, and that edge bleeds a lot sometimes. It's a good thing they invented video. It is a good thing. <laughs> it is a good thing. Video is a good thing. So, uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, thanks for patience. Can you hear us and see us? Bleeding edge these Whoa. days. Whoa. <laughs> Well, the volume's higher now. That's great. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good. Is the is the how's the sync? One, two, three. Still lag on audio for Eve White. Hmm. Okay. Is it is everyone? Is it is it fine? Is it synced up? Can or you Or should we me? keep monkeying around with it? Lag on audio, huh? Okay. How about this? 20. Actually, here. Yeah. Is, it, is everyone? Is it, is it mine? Is it synced up? Can you hear me? Lag on audio. Yeah, audio. Okay. All right, how's that? Is that any better? Here. You want to plug me in here? Ah, see, you guys are getting the real raw um, experience, and uh, I want to let you know that. We Crater tested leg. this all. Just trust me. But this stream is all about authenticity, right? One, two, three. By the way, welcome to Game Nest. This is the loft. I think we Fixed did it. it. We I did think it. we did it. All right. <laughs> you guys are a great team. <laughs> we should be interviewing you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Sometimes you just got to be able to knock it out of the park on your first try. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Let's do the reintroductions then. Yeah, let's reintroduce ourselves. These guys are from Spry Fox, and Spry Fox is one of our favorite developers because they make amazing things like Alpha Bear. Um, and uh, Triple Town, and all the other games where there's, you know, a grid of uh, bears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a grid of something cute. <laughs> so uh, we've got Ryan and Alex. Hi. Hi. And do you guys want to, uh, I guess, just um, give a little intro, like, what do you do, what's your what's your job title, and what do you, how do you feel about having a job title? <laughs> <laughs> we can kind of make up our own job title, so, yeah. uh, you know. <laughs> I am the, the chief, the, just the chief, really. <laughs> <laughs> the chief chief. <laughs> so I work on a bunch of projects. I'm currently working on uh, not Alpha Bear. I've, I've had very little to do with Alpha Bear, but... Um, Which is why he's in the best position to appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's why he, he knows it's the best Why game. he likes it at all. <laughs> nice. And I'm not tired of it. And I don't know what all the bears do. Uh, you, you don't want to say anything about like what you're working on? It's a secret. It's a secret? Okay. Yeah, it's secret shit. Um, secret shit. We're going to screw on any major space a little bit. No good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dan's yeah, still not in the Wait. frame. Wait, why don't you um, just turn the camera? Let's reframe. So I have a curse. I don't know if I told you guys about my streaming curse, which is that every time I stream it involves moving a webcam that's precariously placed on something. <laughs> uh, yes. No matter what I try to do, how I try to do it. That sounds Although, like, a, like a fetish or something. The Elgato's working this time. <laughs> something always breaks. That's it's something like always breaks. To do with our setup, so. It's live! Uh, <laughs> so, um... All right. Oh, this means that the camera's gonna be right in the faces if we go to scene two. Ah! Whoa. Hey, guys! That is nice. So now you can really... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is what they look like um, in person. Uh, so I guess the first question I have is, is can you just tell us a little bit about Alpha Bear? Hold just on, let me say hi first. I like talking about me. I didn't do that yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Okay. There's a lot going on, guys. <laughs> I know you're you. Um, I, uh, I, I've been at Sprite Fox for almost two years, and I don't really have a good job title because I do a bunch of different stuff. Um, but I, my main thing is I'm a technical designer, so I basically 
think about like the kind of the quantitative mathy parts of game design. So I do balancing and progression and economies and stuff. And I do a lot of data analysis for that and some simulation and modeling. And I also do a bunch of programming, like Ryan and I keep the, the data streams flowing for Ryan. And I also just like sometimes program games with Ryan. And I do some business stuff. It's pretty all over the place. It's really fun. Oh, that's cool. And you, um, I mean, not to press you for details, but you do have a uh, fantastically interesting um, and terminal degree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I have about five years left. To, no, 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 it's, yeah. I, <laughs> you I, already did your I did, I did a seven, six and a half. Whoa, I did Jesus. a PhD in game balancing. I think it's the only one so far. Yeah. Wait, that, wow, that was the right. official... It's in the computer science department, but when you do a PhD, you basically like have your topic, and that's your topic, which is whatever it's on. Ah. Like, I have a friend who has the only PhD in film costume design, and <laughs> I have the only PhD in game balancing, but we're in some broader department, you know. Yeah. Sorry, did I say design? I meant balancing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of PhDs in design. Oh, oh, I see. Well, yeah, we yeah. got masters yeah. in design, so yeah, I guess we have because oh, nice. we're you know artists at work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, mighty fine, right, I say. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, Ryan, do you have a fancy degree? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. How to All right, I was like, let's compare. Let's twenty years. years. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, well, let's just say this. Like, what's uh, how how do you when you tell people about yourself? How do you define yourself? Or like, what's the first thing you say? Uh, well, so I personally actually have a kind of an aversion to accreditation. Like, I, not not aversion. Like, I just don't think it means a lot. It doesn't. Most game developers agree with you on that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think you know. I think that if you if you start by defining people by like what certificates they have, then you sort of miss out on meeting a lot of really interesting people. Oh, right. that's a good point. Yeah. Now that said, I have a master's degree from MIT. Oh! Oh! <laughs> All right. <laughs> well done. Awesome. Well done. <laughs> Also, Ryan just ha he's, he did say this, but he's, his, he does have some sort of pseudo official title as technical director at Scribebox. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. yeah. yeah. Which means that he gets to tell all the technical people when they're doing things wrong. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Dude, which that's is really very cool. Very cool. Everybody is very good at their and jobs. The best. Nice. <laughs> I'm just going <clears> to. <throat> so, um. <laughs> So back to the. Sorry, I just got. I caught myself off guard with this new camera angle. Uh, why don't we? Um, why don't we dive in a little bit here? Who who wants to drive? What do you think? You guys know the I'm game drive, probably better than I do. Because I, I, I don't know the game. Oh, okay. 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 What are we doing? Cool. So uh, now, just to get, let you guys know, this is my Alphabet install. I've been playing a little bit. Um, you clearly have not. Yeah. You yes. Have this not. Is your one. <laughs> oh, oh, I was playing on my phone. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So good. Okay. Cool. Hopefully, yeah, we won't great. run out of. Um, I can restore purchases. Hopefully we won't run out of uh, funny times. I'm gonna get back to Wait, that. so what was that? Oh my god, so much happened already. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are we, is that what you want to do? Do we do a... Do we talk about it? I think we, we should... Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just play and talk. And okay, we'll let the talk. game sort of inspire, yeah. you know, thoughts and feelings and yeah. ideas in us. And we'll just, you know, we'll just let things happen. Sounds good. Well, we just, should talk about how the game no works at, like, the most basic level, right? Like, what yeah. are we even doing? Well, he, he's making a great word. <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. Yeah, that's the a game good. describes itself. <laughs> yeah. So, so we, we picked a bear first, and that bear now shows up, um, and he has special powers, which I totally blew right through. He's a he's a four bear. It was too soon, anyway. Right. Yeah. So yeah. He, he makes four letter words worth more. So if I spell feet, for example. Oh, is that why he's called a forebear? It's a yeah. pun. Also. Yeah. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. And for those of you less American history inclined, that's mm. an Abraham Lincoln bear. I'm just going to put it out there. Oh, oh wow. All right. Yeah. All right. yeah. I didn't cool. realize that was a little beard. Yeah. Brent Kobayashi might be kind of talented. <laughs> um, is yeah. that the artist? Yes. Yeah. Meow's yeah. artist, oh. to those of you on the internet. Yeah, yeah I saw Meow's He was handing out, like, cool pics. Yeah, he makes like these part portraits of like other people that I've seen online. And oh yeah, slowly adorable. Over Twitter, yeah. <laughs> so as I've been playing, each of the numbers on the letters has been counting down, and when they get to zero, the letters turn into rocks, and you can't use it anymore. So now, now that I've reached here, I kind of want to use this E and Y because otherwise, it just like screws up my whole board. Mm -hmm. Unless, should we show them what a rock looks like, or is that just sad? No, that's a great idea. Let's yeah, see what so happens okay. when... Let's just throw in your game right, right now. Let's just throw this... <laughs> throw this guy. I'm going to use one of them. Oh, so that's yeah, so... Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> oh. Don't sweat it. Look at that amazing tutorial system. Oh, don't sweat it, guys. Contextual tutorials. 
Look how tall that bear is getting. He's got a really big forehead. Yeah, so this, so this is going to squat here, and I can't use it anymore. And the other effect it will have, kind of longer term effect, is that these bears can't grow to fill that space anymore. So no. there will forever be this bear will be at most that wide. Like a bonsai kitten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, Meow's uh, cat says, um, haha, I got a shout out. Uh, love you, Ryan and Alex, and these other two dudes. Oh, it's, so. It's, yeah. The <laughs> best artist in the world is on yeah. the stream. There you go. That's great. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the subtext here is that this game is not just a word game, it's also a strategy game, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. So far as you're, you have to think about the positions of your letters uh, when you're deciding what to use, not just make the biggest word you can. Like, you can often do better by using short words, provided they're kind of in the right position. And um, So how does that affect scoring, though? Like, I uh, from playing it myself, I always assume that the bigger the word, the better the score. Well, that's the thing. It, this is actually a messy thing about the the mm -hmm. scoring system in this game. Is there are kind of multiple factors contributing to it. There's when you get a, when you use a letter that gives you some points. When you make a long word that gives you a better score. Okay. But probably the most of the points are going to come from making a really big bear. You get just like an extra score for the biggest bear, or yeah. rather for all the bears on the board by their size. And like, it's actually really hard to get that balance tuned correctly so that you know, getting big words feels good, but also you feel really good for like making a huge bear, and, and both of them seem like they're worth it. And we literally just, it used to be that um, like, if you made a bear, the number of points you would get for it was the square of the area of the bear. Oh. And we did like really detailed analysis to figure out how to um, change that so that kind of like both elements of the game would feel meaningful, and we changed it to bear area to the 1.85 power. I like, like we like seriously spent a lot of That's time on this. Yeah. yeah. So sort of the barrier, you know. The, so. the yeah, barrier. Yeah. Yeah, the barrier. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Booth. Oh. Oh. oh sorry. You mean like John Wilkes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is um. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just. I'm literally just holding it. Yeah. You, should be like showing like no no no, no, it's, no. Okay. It's, on just, it's on the screen we, i just, just wanted to I, I meant to show you in mid-sentence and now it's just got awkward <laughs> um, um perfect well so uh i think why don't i ask you just a little bit more and then and then we can play and uh and actually i was thinking maybe chat could play along with us that might be fun Whoa, oh yeah those um, yeah. words oh man so uh they have google oh i was curious about sprite box um what uh how how did how did how does Spry Fox make games? Oh my god. It seems like you guys have like an interesting sort of company layout. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. It's Great. um maybe the best way to think about it is it's kind of a bunch of four people studios. Overlapping four people studios. Yeah, overlapping yeah. 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 Not completely different four people each time. There's ten people in the company overall. And plus Daniel, one intern right now. Oh, plus one intern. Kate. Yeah. Kate, you that's, shouted. That's big time right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so a lot of folks, like Brent, for example, works on all the projects. And Daniel Cook, the chief creative officer, yeah. has handed everything. And David Eddery, the C CEO, is in charge of monetization for every single game. And so also, he basically really, does design on every game as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Very multi-talented individual. Uh, and so we, we basically, so the bottleneck is generally the engineer, so I'm an engineer, and <laughs> okay. I'm the slow one, and uh, we have uh, three engineers. Yeah, I'm like half an engineer. So yeah, like, right. Yeah. Wow. So, and, and then, The yes. last half. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, so we have a few, we have what, two projects going? No, three projects going now. We have Alpha Bear, we have... Uh, and two projects that we we're not going to mention. Right. And that started. are super fun. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You're actually you guys forgetting think. one, right? Um, oh, no, we, have, we actually have, yeah. Yeah, we, we have four we projects have in active projects. development. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, with, for like 10 or 11 people, it's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's definitely a lot happening in the course of one week, like, a lot to keep up to date on. But people can mostly stick to their own project, depending on who they are. So yeah. how, how do you divvy up the projects between, like, I guess groups of people do like did someone oh, just like volunteer and Dank say like the, Dank the Duck says you can mention them. Oh, great. Is that the so. real guy though? 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure that's really him. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm sure I'm sure it's fine. All four of them? Even um even the you know the business we're, room? we're gonna have to wait for so long for his response. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we can start with Steambirds. Okay, yeah, so we're working on a uh, a sequel sort of a successor to, to Seek Steambirds that is uh, an action game. And uh, it's sort of um, takes on that Realm of the Mad God mm. kind of area where it's an MMO with full of hell. So and, good. nice. Um, kind of like really, um, it's like hardcore gameplay, but sort of really casual to get into. So it's really, it's like drop-in play. You can play for 15 minutes, find your friends really easily. Just like anytime you want, just like go online and have a quick, awesome session. It's really intense. Support. It's really, really beautiful. Bullets everywhere. You know, the kind of quick progression. You quickly move through the game. And, and it's procedurally generated worlds, too. Oh, man. So would you say that it's a, it takes a minute to learn and a lifetime to master? Uh, it's probably like two hours to master about it. Then that's done. it. <laughs> you're done, you're done with it. Again. Yeah. So it's the good. shortest MMO. That's yeah. an issue. No, that's, <laughs> we're kidding. It's a great game. We played it. Yeah. We got we got a chance to play with it. Um, we even got to play with some of the stuff that's not done yet, like accidentally. Like I picked a, a I picked a steam bird that was um, at best uh, confusing. Um, was it the rapier? Yeah, it was. So the it was yeah, it like went back. It like, it like I think I hit fire. It like went backwards and something. Oh, like, yeah, that's a special <laughs> attack. <laughs> um, it was. It's really cool though, because uh, so just a little like. So basically, we were gonna have a play session, one time, and these guys all gave it to us on a USB drive, and then uh, they, Alex, you went to do something else, and you came back in, and we were gonna play at like five o'clock. This was earlier than that. It was the afternoon, and we were all like already playing. We had our like made our little guys. It's like, oh, you're already in the game. It's like, yeah, I'm flying around this like thingy. Like, uh, I don't know. It's it's gonna be really cool, and I can't <laughs> wait for um, my friends to play that. I have some friends in particular. <laughs> I really don't know where that story was going. Yeah, <laughs> the, 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 point is, the point is, it's a cool game. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for early adopters. That's the point. <laughs> Yeah, it's very easy yeah. to get into. That's the, the whole point. It's like co-op, you, you're going to be like playing with your friends, and you're going to be like, just join us. Like, you don't yes. have to wait for a lobby, you don't have to fucking yeah. There's no, jump right. up. That, that's yeah. what I was trying to say. There's yeah. no lobby, you just put your thing so in, you just jump around. claim your, your username. Your right. <laughs> yeah, it was super fun. So, um, well, well, the other cool thing about it is that like, it's a schmuck, but you can also run away, and you're not going to get like penalized for it, or like die. Oh, right. Yeah, that's true, that's true, yeah. It doesn't have like an auto-scrolling thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, you didn't beat this boss. You have lost. It's just like, oh, wait, this guy's way too hard. <laughs> and occasionally, right. every so often, they'll chase you. But it's true, there aren't that's... a lot of like open-world schmucks, right? Where, no. Yeah, Because instead of, instead of strafing controls, it's rotational controls, which moves yeah. kind of a little more free. Feels, when you're evading bullets, it reminds me a little of like Super Hexagon. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Sure. Oh, yes. And there's actually a boss that we recently made that is much more like explicitly a super hexagon type boss. Um, no, that's pretty cool. Can, yeah. you, can you tell us what his name is? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, <laughs> can you say that? more? Or, I don't know. No, no, this is the boss. Or the... Oh, yeah. Oh, that thing was insane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, like, so, so it's kind of the reverse of Super Hexagon. Like, in, in Super Hexagon, the world is sort of collapsing on you, coming around and down, but the, the pulsar kind of does the same thing, like, a, creates a little maze growing outwards, and you have to fly in oh, through it and, God, and so take cool. it out. That's awesome. That's really neat. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. <sighs> a shout out to Ray for creating that. Ray has, has been uh -huh. very creative on the content side. Awesome. Uh, God, that's so cool. Yeah, we can't wait for that. Um, so that's Steambirds. I'd, I'd like to, uh, yeah. Should we talk about another um, in, in the pipeline, or should we go back to Alpha Bear? We can like we can like spread them out if you Let's want. Let's spread them out. <laughs> Let's yeah, yeah. Right, Let's go back to the bears. Oh sure. The bears. Okay. Um, so this is a pretty heady game. If I can spell correctly. It would be. Oh. Um, and yeah. It's a, so one of the things I like about it is there are, you know, in a lot of board games you have a relatively small, like, letter availability. Like, there's not a huge variety of letters to choose from. Um, in this game, particularly as the boards grow, you actually have a lot of letters to work with, so you tend to be able to make more kind of, like, ridiculous and aggressive words. But you troll it, because you can choose to right. play letters that don't expose more letters, and this, I, this is actually a strategy I use, because... Uh, I, I, I took it, so the last letter was going to show up there. If it were a vowel, I could have used it with, right. to make ha or ho or something. Well, and <laughs> sometimes if it's frustrating and you have two letters and you can clearly make a word, you get a little, like, the barrel will be like, hey. Right. <laughs> yeah, did you try spell QN? Over here. <laughs> I tried that. Yeah. Well, I gotta say, I think yours is, like, the first word game that actually allows two-letter words. Other than Scrabble? 
Oh, well, yeah, besides game. Scrabble, but like oh. in terms of like mobile like word puzzle games. Well, I think it's because the number of available letters changes so wildly yeah. as you play. Yeah, what, what, one of the details that, that I thought was important is that it doesn't pick letters that make it easier on you. It's like they're totally random each time. Mm. Each time they're uncovered. Um, so right. You can get oh yeah, that is true. It doesn't think much about the distribution. Yeah. Um, but I really like that like, as more letters open up, you know, you don't, they're not all equally kind of important. Mm-hmm. Instead of being like, okay, you have a small set of letters to work with, you have a lot of letters, but only some of them are going to expire soon. So those are the ones that really draw your attention. So it's kind of smooth fall off that you don't have in other word games. So, okay, what just happened? We are in an easy bear. Oh, and yeah. now we get through what's possibly the best thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Should we share yes. this right now? Can we do that? Well, let's yeah, check sure. everyone. So, hey, everyone on the internet, this little pulsing button here, which no one ever notices, actually, um... They can't see it. It's in the bottom left. Oh, they can't... They can't? What? Well, they can't they see can. your finger. Can't see your finger. Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand. The, bo- the button at the bottom left slowly pulsing, which I believe 14% of players who play to at least five games in, in English language countries, ever click. Wow. <laughs> it's this guy. That is this guy. guy. Lawyer. Um, so, <laughs> Data master. Yeah, so this button... So, notice what happens. We use the words feet... Booth and loosen in this. So what happens when a feet and a booth loosen? That's a terrible paraphrase, as they're called. But we're gonna recycle it. Paraphrase. <laughs> <laughs> My partner calls me Eddie Booth. Isn't that sweet? It's not that sweet. <laughs> For bears, calling your feet feet is a. <laughs> <laughs> that's <what> I, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I don't think I get it. Yet. That's worthy of the I fun with Bill Twitter. Okay, right? fine. So we're gonna share this from yeah, Bill's Twitter account. Along I hope with I'm not logged into fans. like uh, an embarrassing Twitter. I don't understand oh, how I could be more. logged into an embarrassing Twitter account, but share Bill's porn on Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> 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 that's not embarrassing. That's uh, natural. Just I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't um, even see what account it was. What? what? We're not going to know. Can you just post this from whatever just post account? Just post it, post okay. it. Okay. Should I say anything else? Like, no, 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 okay, no. Just, just no commentary at all. Okay. This could be the my uh, official Russian spy account. And I, don't want them, <laughs> so, I just want them to think it's a numbers channel. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, um, yeah, that's uh, the super fun word sentence generation thing. I really like this. And if your Twitter wasn't blowing up, please let us know. Uh, we'll try to market it even better. I got in trouble for posting too many of those one night. Yeah, okay, you yeah. post. It, I was like yeah, looking. I we, like I had trouble reading <laughs> towards like, Bill, shut up. Like, <laughs> I've seen enough of these stupid bears. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there kind of an etiquette? Like, because you can hit the recycle thing, so you can just like crank out like ten for like the same. Oh, you can. Yeah. He was doing that, and I consider that cheating. I almost yeah. wish we don't allow that. I I mean, sort of, yeah. We're not going to stop someone from tweeting something about our game. Sometimes yeah. like, yeah. I, I, I intentionally upon. spell yeah. words thinking of that feature. Right. Yeah. That's what we want. Right. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, oh, I spelled junk, so, so all the junk in you into is going to come right. out. Right. Right. Wow. Yep. And then that gives you some ideas for future words to focus <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <laughs> I mean, I love that when you can, like, even in a, like a goal-oriented game, when you can convince people to play yeah. suboptimally for some aesthetic reason like that. That's great. Mm. Yeah, yeah that's, totally. that's actually Sean Bouchard's definition of role-playing, which mm-hmm. I don't know if I agree, but I just want to toss that out to blow your minds. Um, I can see that. I mm. want to ask you a question. Is there a maximum length to the, to the words that end up in the bear references? I... Do you... Uh, the what? what you oh, doing? in the bear phrases. Yes. Oh. Because I, I thought you were going to say that you could spell. That's a great oh, question. Because I had some really monster words that I wanted to show off to the world, and they didn't... Like photochemistry is. or... I think so. Yeah, like, like, like neonatal. Neonatals. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> is that a word? Uh, yeah. I don't know. It, maybe. Anyways. It, there's a lot of idiosyncrasies in dictionaries. Like, I've never made a word game that hasn't had somebody be like, this word is not in there. Yeah. yeah. And The neonatalists. Yeah, <laughs> up in arms. And conversely, you end up with all sorts of words that like make no sense. Like, like, like Al- Andrew has been posting about these. Andrew is the lead developer on Alpha Bear, by the way. Andrew Frey in the in the UK oh. is our our chief Alpha Bearitis. Nice. And um, he's been tweeting some like very uncommonly <laughs> used words that people. I think people pick words by just like randomly tapping letters and seeing if the checkbox turns. Yeah, green. for sure. And so you end up with some words like flart or something, and it's like <laughs> oh, it, it means something in German. <laughs> Yeah, that's like, cause yeah, there's definitely been times when it's just like, I'll just have like a bunch of like, words that are about to turn into stone, and I'm just like, well, let me just try this out, and like, do this like, elimination thing, and sometimes it works. I know that our CEO's wife managed to spell defenestrate once. Oh, oh nice! nice. So pretty, it's one of the best records I've heard of. That's oh, awesome. Dick says, no maximum length as far as I know, but parts of speech dictionary we use is sparser than the main dictionary. That's a great point. Oh, oh that's true, right, cause yeah. they have to be categorized as like, noun, verb, adverb. Some mm-hmm. of those just won't be in there. 
but you know, we'll ever be improving it, I'm sure. But that's right, uh, Cerebral09 uh, has a bug report, of oh, all things. Nice. One Cerebral time, <laughs> the bear had an empty speech bubble. Oh, yeah, you know how that happens? It happens when, <laughs> basically, the words you spell, um, there are literally no words that can fit into any bear template, um, any uh, bear phrase template in the game. So, Cerebral, you did it. You broke language. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. You defeated the dictionary. I've seen that happen once. It's, it's a known thing. There's kind of almost not a good way around it. Like, maybe there should be some default phrase that it says about how disappointed it is or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that could be. I mean, it's more kind of on our dictionary than on the, the, the person spelling it. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, sometimes, I mean, it's possible, for example, for a, a map to end really early because you just happen to run out of letters, like, because um, you just unlock, like, a bunch of consonants or something. Right, right. And when that happens, you can literally, you can call one word and the game ends. Right. I've seen it in the data. Right, and uh, people say that they get that for, like, the, the very short event, the short right. word event, and so they're right. spelling out all two-letter words. And so, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. To the... Yeah. You, you can't do that in phrase. No. So as you can see, you can pick some bears to help you. This is basically like your loadout, like in Call of Duty. Right. Like you're equipping each of these on like in like a rocket launcher. Yeah. So they all um, they have different bonuses to your final score, and they have different powers. This one gives you powers uh, points if you use easy. This one gives you points for four letter words, and we can use both of them. We're gonna keep playing. What was what map was this? This was your first. No. Can you can this you can you hit 800 second. points? Oh, is that what yeah, this is? Yeah, for points. You know what? I bet we can. With the word ma. Okay, ma. I got a question. Sure. What, yeah. what are the stars? Like, what's their purpose? Oh, do you have any guess? It's really interesting. Like, I thought it was, like, bonus points, but I'm totally that. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we probably need a new iconography for it, and we're also adding, like, a cousin to the stars in the next build. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, this is all excited in the last couple days. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, is this a star cousin? Cousin? Yeah, it's like a similar mechanic, but it won't oh, it's not the same oh, mechanic. Okay. So, right, I'll explain this then. Why don't you watch carefully and let's see if... Okay, right. you, viewers, you watch okay. carefully too and see if you can figure out what the stars do. Because I think once you start looking for mm -hmm. it, you can see it, but whenever it looks good, of course. Hey, what the what the hell does that mean? Paid. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> just, it just like, accepts it, all common misspellings. When you, someone who walked into a party and was like, hey! That's the past tense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perfect, man. No Perfect. apostrophe, no hey. No. Um, okay, well, okay. Oh, wait, you, I think, I, I, think I, I caught it. You already know, just from watching, I think watch I caught it. carefully, right? Okay, let's, let's keep going so we can see. Uh, Let me confirm it. Let's I. dive. Tied. 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 There are some words I use over and over. Oh, good call. <laughs> so I often save my D's and my R's and my S's mm. for, yeah. in case mm. I want to use them I defer in the, the middle master. of the letter. Yeah, I see. I got it. Oh, he's got it? All right. Anyone in the chat have it? Chat's going to take what stars uh, do. If you didn't already know what stars do, have you figured it out yet? Eve White is on to something. Eve White? And she's a mod, too. Yeah, so. he, I, th I think... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, Anyone what, else? What did she say? Don't read the chat. Don't read guys. it. Don't just yeah. type. Just okay. close your eyes. Yeah. And type type it. <laughs> no one's reading the chat. <laughs> you can use the little nubs on the keyboard to to tell yourself where the home row is. So close your eyes. Type. Cerebral. Yeah, it's Cerebral 09's got a good. Hello. Yeah, I think I, I think everyone's got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. that's it. So mm -hmm. basically, it's like these are directions that you want to expand to because they're going to give you letters which you can you can sort of onto for a while. So that's if you're wondering where to pick letters, given you know. Uh, everything else being equal, pick the ones near stars because you don't have to worry about the letters that open up. So the letters always default at like the the normal ones. They default at like three. Yeah. Okay. That's right. It, it depends on the map. It, yeah. But. There's an interesting inversion here. Like a, most people play this game play with kind of Scrabble rules in mind, where they're like, oh, I want to use the nine point letters first. Oh right. Because yeah. yeah. like I'm going to score that. really he highly on this word, but actually because Alpha Bear has got this strategy tactical space filling element to it actually don't want to use those letters first. Yeah. You want to hold right. on to them because, you know, so you've got some red letter, letter, letter somewhere else that you need to use yeah. first. And That's there's no actual extra points for using a higher There actually are. Oh, yeah. There are. are. Oh. But no, those no, extra it, points usually, in, usually won't compensate for the points you can get for sort of, um, you know, the Hail Mary of, not the Hail Mary, but kind of like the... Shooting the moon? Not shooting the moon. Shooting the moon is when you do bad. What is it when you get, like, everything? Triple, oh, the full house, full, the full enchilada, the full enchilada, the total royal, the total royal flush. destruction, the, the full bear enchilada, mega bear, bear, one big bear, <laughs> big old bear. That's the best thing. Maritime you can bear, bear, settle bear. for. for oh, 
Post de Vore. Yeah, is that all that is? Like the country? Anyway, I'm being real short words, probably because I'm nervous. Well, let's uh, okay. I mean, we're all we're all we're all on the on the on the ball here. I, I think maybe what we should do is ask chat for maybe one or two words. Yeah. Oh, right, good idea. So, good idea. All right, chat. All right. We're gonna we're gonna sit here in real time and just stare at the <laughs> chat while you wait while we wait for this to go out to you. Just uh, you know, they're catching up. Catching up. The biggest The enchilada bear. <laughs> Give us Wait, your shoot, best isn't word. Shooting the moon when you do so bad, you do. You good? have to. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you fail, yeah. you fall into the sun. So you have to shoot the moon very carefully. Oh, oh I see. It is similar then. Okay. What am I thinking of? What is it in like hearts when you try to get like shoot the, the worst score? Yeah, because no, it's the worst score. Because if you get bad enough, oh, you okay, win. Okay. 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 Yeah. So it's. Yeah, it's not literally. I was. Score. Yeah. Ecto. It's not, someone. It's not like Mario oh, oh there you go. Yeah, I got one. Ectosum. CW Lane. Is that a word? Okay, is that person using salt? He said, he said, is it a word? <laughs> okay. We should. Well, who knows if it's a word or not, but it's out there accepted. Ectosome is not a word. Nice butts. Uh, someone says butts. Come on, guys. Buttes. Yes. Okay, buttes. Wait, Jason Kubarhos. <laughs> Jason <Yeah>. Kubarhos. <laughs> this is a word. Buttes. Like, buttes. Uh, uh, right, yeah. Let's go with buttes. Buttes of. Um, Are we going with it? It's like. Yeah, Arizona the White Cliffs of Dover or something. <laughs> the Buttes, so Buttes Anonymous. Uh... Oh, really? I thought it was Buddies. Buddies. The oh, bu I mean, that's, that's nice. Bear Buddies. <laughs> so, wait, where were those? We got a, now we got Anyways. these red letters. I feel like the costume person was on point. Costume would have gotten rid of the Yeah, that's a good one. Costume? And now we've yeah, lost sorry. our opportunity. Obtested. What? Does that work? Oh, that's Pat. That's I, Pat. I think... Oh, my God, Pat. Black Buttes. <laughs> really, everyone's really going after the Buttes. Oh, Wait, Black Butte was a... Oh, we can't that's spell obtested mostly anymore. Mostly walking we thing, used to be. Sorry, Pat. That is a great word. Columbo? No. Columbo? <laughs> uh, let's see. So, you know, right now you'd be looking mostly at your red, orange, and yellows. Pretty much ignoring those Yeah, those... Oh, zoomed. Eve White says zoomed. Ooh, but you missed yeah, out what about on the that. C? Yeah, what about the C? What about the C? Can we get a C? Locale. Locale. Kelso, Kelso locale. Locale. That's pretty good. Uh, That's a good one. And I'm also curious if locale the works. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's better. Good job. <laughs> oh, and I gotta use the other O, actually. Oh, no, I have to use that. Yeah. It would be nice if we could use the other O, like, ooh, cow. Loco? <laughs> Locoed? Loco. Yeah, right. The Doritos Loco Taco. Well, that's great. <laughs> I, I think that I think that the, the chat sing-along portion was a real success. I think that's a that's a good thing we did for these people. This is the first instance, I think, historically ever of Twitch plays out there. Twitch plays out there. They do. That oh, is. Oh, we gotta set that up automatically. That's so good. Yeah, that might be rough for the mobile game. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Maybe. It's like an iPad. Just like sitting somewhere. Yeah, in the closet. <laughs> the least mobile iPad. <laughs> well, I think it might be a good time to ask you guys about a secret, secret weapon uh, game number two. Oh. In the pipeline. Sure. What do you think? Yeah. Is that a... Can we... So the next two games, like, neither of us have done any, like, actual development on, okay. but we know a little bit about them. Because, Ooh. like we said, right, lots of sort of overlapping... So there's even there. secrets yeah. amongst... Se Probably. Se <laughs> <laughs> What's on a need-to-know basis? We yeah. yeah. right. need to know what the details are. Uh, one of them is a, a uh, mobile game called Giant Sword. Oh, that sounds uh, really fun. Just yeah. from the <laughs> I describe it from like my five minutes playing it as um, flight control meets Fruit Ninja. It's uh, so <laughs> when, uh, when you <laughs> carry the one. Uh, what's what's uh, now? Forgive me if I'm uh, if I don't, if I should know, but what's flight control? Oh, oh dude, it's like one of the earliest. Oh wait, just flight control where you where you where you make the flight paths, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So they land safely. Which Except, seemed like the future of mobile devices with touch controls. Yeah, because it's yeah, like yeah. this incredibly intuitive interface, you know, drawing these paths, but there aren't a lot of path drawing Yeah, games, it turns out like people just like to tap on things. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. a card battle. You don't even, you know, you have to look at your phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. Well, except for Fruit Ninja, Ninja and Cut Rope and all those ones. But those are not, uh, for the most You're part, not drawing not a path. path. There's no curvy paths. Yeah, yeah. Cut the Rope right. occasionally has curvy paths. Yeah. But, oh. um, I have actually never played Cut the Rope. It's so, not bad for a while. I actually think it's good. It's, it's pretty good. good. Yeah. It's, it's fun with a fun with a partner too, because sometimes mm. you need multi fingers. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I love games like that. Um, anyway, giant sword. Uh, you draw some paths. There's a sword involved, uh, and it's uh, an a action game, so timing is important. Swords on paths. Action so yeah, basically paths. you're controlling a little little ninja dude. 
and he's like, and you're drawing the path for him, and then guys are coming at him from all directions, but then yeah. he swings his sword kind of along the path, like, oh, the the yard, okay. so he kills all those guys, and he's just cool. trying to stay alive. Yeah. Christian, uh, Christian, the lead developer for Road Not Taken, is the lead developer on that. Oh, okay. Very cool. Awesome. What's you're good um, with the shadows, man. <laughs> what's good? Can you talk a little bit more about Road Not Taken, just because I'm curious about that? I've seen it pop up and stuff. Yeah. This uh, Road Not Taken is one of the few games that virtually everybody, except for Andrew, at Spry Fox worked on. Okay. It was oh. a PC on Steam and console on PS4 game that oh. came out last summer. Mm-hmm. And we all worked on it because console mm-hmm. games come with deadlines. Yeah. And Spry Fox doesn't do very well with deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that's okay. We're, you're in the you're in company here. Yeah. <laughs> we, we like to have rolling deadlines, is what we call them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just roll right past them. That's the joke, yeah. Uh, just kidding, clients. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, what did you, did you want oh, to no, just... That? I really like Roadmap Taken. I was really proud of it. Like, it is a flawed game, but I think it is a like really beautiful and unique and wonderful flawed game. Oh. And I mean, we can't, to say we're proud of it is a little ridiculous. Like, we came on in the last six months of the project or something, but yeah, it still felt. You know, yeah, we, it's okay. we, we had our mark, yeah. and um, it's a it's like it's magical and sad and incredibly beautiful. And wow, the, the dialogue is just I think like, stupendous. Like, we wow. need to be Dank needs to be writing more text in our games too. So he was, like, he was he wrote the dialogue. He, he wrote, yeah, he, he wrote the, like a novel. He wrote yeah. so much dialogue. Wow. Because, like a lot of people don't get to see this I think because you don't, you have to play through it like repeatedly to see all the dialogue but each character has hundreds of things that they can say to you based on what your circumstances are and just random chance. Mm-hmm. Okay yeah. yeah we should say that the game is like the core of the game is a puzzle roguelike. Mm-hmm. So it's a procedurally generated oh. puzzle game that you're kind of adventuring through this forest trying to save these kids by tossing objects around in a kind of sokoban like mm-hmm. way but with a, an original mechanic that's really nice but every after every like round of the game you go back to this town and there's essentially a dating simulator where you're meeting these people <gasps> and creating relationships and they're <laughs> changing based on what happens and and you build up your character and it's a really it's wonderful Unfortunately, the, yeah the game launched a little too hard and i think that that <laughs> that turns what's some people off what is a really what's really a hard, hard yeah, what does it mean when your game launches too hard no no no, no, no. it's too difficult <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> Okay, I thought uh, like it missed the mark. It went yeah, a little too far. Yeah. And, uh, a hard launch. You, uh, it was got too Long much publicity. Yeah. Everyone just thought it was mainstream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it was a little too difficult, so people didn't find it. Didn't replay it as much as what we sort of expected. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, so like, as you went through it again and again, you'd see these like just like dark humor coming out, and people would be depressed, or they would be ecstatic and their lives would change based on your interactions with them. I remember when I first started the company, like I think my first or second day, the the game was already underway and Dank was like, he was gone for a few hours and then he came back on Skype and he was like, oh sorry, I just finished writing 200 lines of dialogue about rice. (laughs) Ah, rice. (laughs) So, So lovely. It's... Well, <laughs> quote Mitch Hedberg, it's good for when you want to eat a million or something. <laughs> right. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But it was one of the things you could give people as a... You, you could earn, find it and give it to people, and then they would love you more. Or maybe less, actually, if they hated rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, that's cool. i got to check that out. I, I'm, I'm remiss. I don't, I don't, haven't kept up on my console and the PC stuff, because I have head inside of iOS all the time. So. Oh, really? You play mostly mobile? <sighs> it's, uh, I'm just on the go. By which you mean on the toilet, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm on the go. <laughs> yeah. I'm going. I'm going for the next 20 to 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tried bringing my PS4 in there, but it's like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, hey, sometimes yeah. I just like to take a Nintendo Wii, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's yeah. Those uh, thumbsticks. Oh, yeah. Right. Ugh. Touchpad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm... Yeah. Oh God. Anyways, <laughs> professionally, <laughs> continuing on professionally. Uh, so um, maybe let's check in on our bears here. How's our bears doing? Uh, I so I, we're, I we're still on this one Did game. Or are we still? Yeah. Oh. There's so much to go. Oh, that's not a word. Dom. Come on. Like like Tom. home. Like oh, no, no, no. This is this is Dom? the female dominator. Dude, have you guys female not dominator. read Fifty maybe. Shades of Grey? Oh. Wait, really? Is that really what that word? That no. word? Maybe. In yeah. French. Can you someone look that up? You can't, you can't, can't contradict me. In Dominatrix this already is a, has a female suffix. It's a very rare female suffix, but it is. <laughs> is the plural that dominatrices? I don't know. 
All right, we can do dome. Dome. This is sad. We're not doing great. We need larger words. Well, larger uh, boards. So we need we larger bears. Words, so. That's what we need. Yeah, we need a yeah. chat. No, like dome it is. I'm just saying we need to get uh, modem? Modem. a bigger level. Oh, modem. dude. <laughs> sorry, that's out of date. Uh, uh, solar grid. Sorry. sorry. That would have been good. Um, so now we got to be careful. We want to open this last letter up early so that we can plan for it. Oh, here we go. We know we can do it. Let's do something small. Oh, let's... Za. Great, perfect. So now we've got some good words, letters to work with. We can do tit if we need to. We can. But instead we do it. Actually, so that's that's yeah. worth talking about because you guys don't filter out a lot of um, words that other... Like, this looks like a children's game <laughs> until you spell tit. <laughs> Although <laughs> children, honestly, yeah, children would not try well acquainted tit. with yeah, breasts <laughs> at an early that's, age. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we don't filter out words. I think it's definitely in Sprite Fox's... Wait, to so, so all the all swear words are there, basically, except for some that like like we try to remove them if we find one that like not going to make anybody happy, mm. you know. But yeah. um, it changes everything. I've been like playing clean the whole time. I love that. <laughs> that I didn't realize yeah. we yeah. need some like yeah. tutorial that reminds you to say fuck. Yeah. No, no, no. That's, that's the way the game should be. I, I love I love the fact that people like don't know this, yeah. and then they're just surprised. And they're because like every other word game out there forbids like words for the dumbest of reasons, and no. so we're like, oh, we're including fat, p h a t, nice. and people just love that. They're like, yeah, nice. That's that's really good, and that's good for it. <laughs> Sorry, I, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the doggy bear. That's one of my faves. Yeah, yeah. it's that little um, contrast stitching around the head. Yeah, that really makes it is. It. And the fact that it's just dog and a bear, it's just <laughs> yeah, it's so yeah, good. Um, I'm just going to see what for you. <laughs> okay, that is pretty good. I think there's some nice like pornography implications. For you, I do with the modem. Yeah, that's, that's really the game you're playing. Here, so, you know, you got to get innuendo enough. How, how lewd can you make it? Yeah, so it's yeah. really helpful to have all these four little yeah. words in the game. Like, yeah. It's like a moral that? limbo. Yeah. Okay, so now we've kind of like the metagame is starting to open up to like less tutorial modes. This is the Tuesday face mode, which is available on Tuesdays. And mm -hmm. um, like you can play it now, but then you basically can continue to play it. And this will be a full-size board. Oh. Use dog ears. So now we can see the training wheels are more off. letters. Can you just uh, say something about uh, the day of the week uh, thing in here? Um, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. So basically, um, the main thing that you do in this game basically is you know it's it's not so much about progressing through lots and lots of different maps. It's more like we have some amount of variety. It changes every day, um, and it'll change by chapter as well. We have chapters in the game. But basically, on Tuesdays, you have a certain map, and you can play that map as many times as you want, and come back on Wednesday, you'll have a different map. Oh, cool. Um, and oh, there's, okay. But there's two maps. There's one that's timed, which we haven't gotten to yet, mm -hmm. and there's one which is, like, untimed and bigger. That's right. right. But we're definitely, like, we are talking about changing stuff pretty soon, adding more ways to play the game. Like, oh. really soon, potentially. Very cool. Yeah. I, um, I like that. That's um, sort of a light, sort of a very modern way of doing... Well, I mean, it keeps it playing, but it also isn't intrusive. Yeah, I mean, I think the main thing is people like, what do people really like about this game? They like playing it, and they like looking at the cuteness. Yes, And yes. it's like, we don't work so hard to become hooked into this like really, really complex economic system and all this yeah. game with a million different <laughs> modes. It's just, it's like, right. it's just like enough, just enough to create the variety to, so that it doesn't get stale, you know? Yep. Um, One exciting thing you can do is go right into the shop mm -hmm. when you download it. For five dollars, you can buy infinite, uh, infinite um, honey, and even if you don't know why. Oh, and you're advocating that each of your viewers do so? I don't know. I'm not saying you should. I, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I, I don't know what do we should do. What should we advocate? <laughs> how does this? What are you? How are you monetizing us? What's uh, going on here? <laughs> yeah. So we. Uh, I mean. Yes, you can send us money through the game. That's. That is the thing you can do. Okay. Uh, which will help support more alpha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, is it... it uh, so, okay, there's an energy system, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's get real. Let's, Let's get, get real. Yeah. Brass tax. Like, look, we but, all have to pay, pay rent. But we are one of the only games, I think, like in existence with an energy system that you can pay to never see again. Mm -hmm. Right? It's not like you just well, pay to get a little more energy. You pay and then you literally have as much as you want. That was like triple time, too, right? Yeah, triple time. Yeah, triple time following was, in those footsteps. Yeah, I liked, it made That's me right. feel like an elite pro user. To <laughs> 
I'll admit, you guys got my first subpoena at purchase. Oh, really? Ever? Uh, ever. Holy I God. am like the worst case scenario for all iPhone developers because I never wow. pay. I don't even watch ads. Yep. And, uh, Me too. I just paid four ninety nine for you guys. That's incredible. Time. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good. Although, good. I, I, it might be because I know you guys. Yeah. But... I, I was like, how many friends do you have who've made free to play games? Does that have something to do with it? Yeah, but but I don't regret my decision because <laughs> I can keep playing at all times. Yeah. That, that that's that, the regret is I think a real thing with free to play games. Like I've heard so many times from people that they're playing a real one of those t uh -huh. chart toppers that's like and they they're like, "Oh, I spent $20 and I feel terrible about myself." Yeah, and I believe well, it. Well, because the value goes away. Right. Yeah, you you, you wasted that money. It's right. how you feel. Yeah. yeah. You you had a moment of weakness and yeah. and that's not how like like I, I feel like our philosophy is you're getting something of value for that money. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the best yeah, that's the best rule of thumb for whether you've done it right. It's like is anyone ever gonna regret their purchase? Right. Or or, or also their time spent too. I mean Yeah. yeah no I, I think that it's with Triple Town and with Alpha Bear, I enjoy having spent the time. Yeah, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah. which is good. That, that is great. It's it's fun it's very hard for me to make words with all these people watching. I'm just sort of like sitting yeah. and tapping letters because it's like, it's hard, it's hard to see the forest for the bears. Bear. I find it tough when there's this many letters. I just, I, yeah, I overthink so. it. Well, I mostly ignore the green. So I, I got a question. What, what's, yeah. what's the deal with the bear for all of the Triple Town games? <laughs> yeah. What's the story behind the bear? Um, I don't know. Oh, do you have, I don't know where the bear came from originally. I mean, I think yeah, it is. Designed it. Yeah. And like, for Triple Town, but why? Like, how did that bear specifically become that bear? I don't know. Wonder. Yeah, I don't know. So one of the things you need to know about, know about the original, original Triple Town is that it was designed for the Kindle, the original Kindle, which is a black and white device. Oh, wow. Whoa! And it had that, like, terrible little really? keyboard yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. And, um, and it, so the, one of the constraints of developing on this is that you can only refresh the game one, once per second. Wow. So it had no animations. Whoa. It was just black and white. Damn. That's mind blowing. Is that why it has sort of like a cursor style interface almost? You tap twice to place something. Uh, uh, I think that's just because making a mistake really sucks. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, okay. Sure. Yeah, I have no well, idea what the interface on the Kindle is. Would that have like, been like the only game on those old Kindles, or is there like a pretty much a basically yeah. the idea? Right? We're <laughs> yeah. all about like finding weird little places to put games where right. you know. Uh, there was there was yeah. Trip Town, and then there was Panda Poet, and Panda Poet had a mechanic not too different. From Alpha Bear. Yeah. There's this incredible Ian Bogos tweet. I'm gonna find it regarding um, nice. this game and Panda Poet. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, you hear you take over the. We can also there. outsource that to chat if you want to. Yeah. They they liked it when we. It's it's fun sometimes to throw them on. Yeah. Way. I can't afford to look at my phone right now. Can chat, you guys you um can find the Ian Bogos tweet about Panda Poet? Uh, if you do that, you're gonna get. Three and, crater points. Everyone, oh, penile. That's and, a good one. Yeah, everyone's oh, penile. Can, can, can we do penile? I think. Better than anything I had. Where's the P? See, and look, there's, yeah, that'll use a few good good ones. No, wrong E, wrong E. Fuck it all up. <laughs> Dank the Duck is saying, Triple Down had the bear first, but we wanted a cuter protagonist, so you felt guilt. Oh, <laughs> when you or no, no, Kindle guilt version, for killing it, yeah. Kindle versions didn't have the bear. They oh, were monsters and wizards. wizards. Monsters right. and wizards. Holy shit! Okay, you I can tell I've never actually. Maybe that explains version. why there's like you start building castles. Right, the floating castles, like you're. There's wizards. like a magical castle. Oh yeah, there are yeah. magical yeah. castles. But also, like, where do you go for mansions? You know, obviously. That's true. Yeah, there's yeah. castles and then floating castles. Oh, that's right. There are mansions. There's, there's like castles. modern buildings there. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, so so all right. That doesn't explain where the bear came from, then. <laughs> I mean, you, you just did you just think about animals? My friend, you have a really tall bear. <laughs> yeah, he, he's kind of he's kind of lanky. Head there. <laughs> he's a, <laughs> he's he's like a, a six or a seven there. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's oh good. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yep. Got it. Got you it. made the four, yep. the four bear pun. But yeah. Didn't, didn't yeah. That's weird. <laughs> um, uh, there's like some better happening here. So nobody's come up with the Ian Bogus tweet. Uh, that's okay. I think we'll put that in our back pocket. <laughs> uh, now, I, before I ask you guys about another top secret Spy Fox game, I want to ask you. I have two questions that I wanted to ask you. Uh, here we go. Um, what would an Alex Bear do? Oh my God. 
This is like Barbara Walters or something. <laughs> um, something complicated. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like if at the game end, fourteen percent of the the letters are, are I, unused, you get a bonus. <laughs> I think an Alex bear would, um, would create like three x length bear phrases at the end of the game. Oh. They'd be like nine sentences long. Oh <laughs> man! For, for twelve, you know, fill in words. Well, wow. I would pay so much money for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coins. <laughs> All right, that's a that's a good one. Now, Ryan, what would a Ryan bear do? A Ryan bear would allow you to break one rule. Whoa! Oh. One weird rule bears don't want you to know about. <laughs> oh man! How how, do, how how would you advise the technical people to come back? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Ryan's not working on this game. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. Ryan, I don't have to care. Yeah, no one, yeah, okay. That's good. Thank you. Well, I, that was... Uh, I wanted to ask you that. So, um, uh, I guess, what uh, other uh, top secrets uh, can we get out of you today? Is there another title you want to describe? Um, so the next one... I don't think it has a name yet. Oh, okay. uh, so, and it is... Um, <laughs> Funded by the U.S. government. Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> Mil- is it military? Is it military? <laughs> uh, it's an educational game for oh, kids uh, uh, relating to uh, military of all things. Yeah, <laughs> teaching them how to fight. Okay, good. Yeah, you, but, guys... you know, just with, like daggers and swords and shit. <laughs> cool fighting. All right. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a, um, it's actually like a financial literacy game. Oh my god, Uh-oh. you're stepping into our territory Yeah, now. we're going to <laughs> we're gonna have to tell, we're gonna have to tell our friends from USC. Yeah. <laughs> so, long story short, um, one of our other co-founders is also a co-founder at Futurebound Games, where they do stuff like that. About really? financial literacy for going to college. Yeah. Oh, really? we're this is targeting like a slightly younger age range, right, Ryan? Right? You know, sure. I don't know I a lot about this. It might be yeah. even for adults. I can't remember. Really? Okay, no, I, whatever. Um, but financial literacy is one of those things that people do a horrible job of teaching in general because it's so boring and also because it's complex in a way that is uh, dry I think it doesn't Mm. need to be it's like it's kind of like systems complex in a way a lot of games are right Right. Right. I mean you guys probably know this since you know someone working on game that apparently is a direct well yeah. we know of the person working on the game we don't know of what well, exactly okay, it's yeah. really teaching other or are you like talking about mission mission and mission, mission, and mission like I, I don't know i haven't delved deep i mean we that. i wouldn't i mean we're but we're actually i, I would say we've delved pretty right deep well the thing is that we're porting we're porting that game to unity so i oh. i mean well, uh, I, I personally Daniel's have Daniel's not on the project. I, I'm not Daniel's on the not project. on the project. So I, don't, I, I, don't worry. Yeah. But um, pretty much what we're doing is we're just trying to make it look the same, and we don't know how it works. No, I'm kidding. Um, this interview's over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so our designer Pat. Whoa. <laughs> our designer <laughs> Pat is making that. Um, <laughs> Thumb cam. <laughs> with our intern Kate, and they're like trying a couple different games. They're still. I don't know exactly how far along it is, but they've definitely been in like the iteration and exploration phase. Oh. So that's the, that's the newest one. Yeah, I, th- I think they're kind of like, in a, try a bunch of different ideas and see which ones are fun. Okay, nice. Kind of thing. I, I actually, I really love like taking real world systems and trying to make them fun. Mm-hmm. It's such a weird challenge. You have to like figure out where to cut the corner. I love looking at board games for that because they have to get them really yep. real concise and elegant, right? And like, I love this idea of like, I was, I was reading this interview with, um, there's this guy who makes these like highly abstracted uh, board games that represent, sorry, uh, war games that are kind of like a little bit more like traditional like um, European board games or German board games and they're not, they're not, not quite as many pieces, not quite as many rules, but they're still like pretty dense and they represent like really, really specific, um, like, oh, there's, what, do you guys know this one? It's based on essentially like the Iraq war and it's, oh, it's no. like very... It's full of procedural rhetoric. It's like very clear that it's like embodying this guy's vision of like what the forces in, in terrorism and in this war were and how they interact with another. And it's meant to like it's really meant to be educational through your kind of like enacting of the rules. That's really oh. game called this, this or this guy. Oh, no, no, it's a, not a video game. It's a board game. Oh, sorry. This okay. war of mine sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, it seems similar to what you said. Yeah, 
but uh, I won't tell you his name and the game's name. All right, um, um, but yeah, uh, I agree. Teaching. I think, I, think, I think that one of the, the interesting things about making a game to teach somebody something, or to, for a polemic purpose in general, is that the risk is very great that you don't accomplish that message, that you yeah. say something totally different. And I think the classic example is of Monopoly. Mono originally, it was designed to sort of be an anti-capitalist message. Yes. And it was called The Landlord's Game, and it was a show that, like, you know, things are boring because somebody gets all the money and wins, and everybody else can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. And... It turns out that recast a tiny little bit, now it's Monopoly that everybody enjoys being that person, and it's like totally well, pro-capitalist. Well, I think yeah. it failed because it, it, it has that, it gives you that, it's that competitiveness that just like drives that game. It's like, who's going to hit Boardwalk first or whatever? But, but, right. but in that sense, it didn't fail. In that sense, it's emphasizing exactly no. the forces that are really Yeah, yeah, fight, yeah. Right? So that's, that's the really hard thing. It's like, if you're trying to teach someone something about the forces, like psychological forces, and you do that by kind of like embedding them in it, then you sort of end up acting like an advocate for it, unless you work really, really hard to like bang them over the head with a hammer, like oh. train does or something. Right, yeah. Can, oh, yeah. Yeah, can, yeah. Literally. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Brent Romero the just there. No, did you see the... Did you play it with the hammer in the window? I never actually got to play it. You actually break... Dude, that's yeah. how it starts. It's pretty intense. You, um, the instructions tell there's like a window, like an old school window, and there's a little hammer, and the instructions tell you to like break the thing. And so, oh, first, if not. you don't, because I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize what the game was about. It's awesome. I probably very few people get to play it without knowing. Right now. Yeah. Oh, sh well, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. It's a physical game, which means uh, no one will ever play. be able to. Yeah. Play. yeah it's, um, I think it's a new game now. It belongs in a museum. Uh, yeah. It's really good, though. But uh, I had a friend who, um, she, I had a uh, Jewish friend, and we were at the place. And I was like, hey, let's play this, because, uh, you know, our professor said to play it. She said, you really have to play it. And my friend was like, let's not. And I was like, how come? And she's like, well, because, look. And I was like, oh. Like, it was really interesting, because I was not clued into what was going on. Oh, so you oh, didn't wow. find out through playing it? No, because okay, she, yeah, she saw didn't. stuff that I didn't recognize. Oh, she figured it out without... Before getting oh, to the end. Because wow. I didn't know oh. some of the place names and stuff. Right. And she's like, I appreciate this game, I'm totally not going to play it. Wow. Funny. Yeah. That's, that's, that, that's cool. I think that's a great accomplishment if you make a game someone's not willing to play it. Yeah, yeah. well, that's... Yeah, it that's the only way to win well. that game. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. We've talked about this with Steambirds, actually, <laughs> extensively. Oh, yeah? That we're making a game about flying around birds, like planes and shooting things. Yeah. And, like, that's fine. There are a lot of games like that. But we would love, as a company, to maybe not just make purely violent games that are totally thoughtless. And, you know, we've talked about, like, what options do we have narratively or thematically to... To you know, either make it so that it's kind of not so bad because mm -hmm. you're whatever destroying robots or whatever it is, so that you don't care, or to kind of embed message in it a little bit. But it's like we and we we still are considering that, but it's so easy to I think make something that feels really frivolous when you try to make it feel you know be weighty and like say something serious. Like we don't know, right? Well, especially if that's been set in the genre too, you know. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, I haven't played um, uh, what's not the Thin Red Line with a Spec Ops The Line. Right. Spec Ops The Line is a famous yeah. example of an FPS which is meant to be um, critical of war really? while still kind of like getting really into it mm. and then like telling you like look how kind of like Hotline Miami like look how shitty you are for uh, <laughs> so violent. <laughs> yeah, those games that are like I can't believe you just did that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think you can't really convey that message as well as you'd want to if you then have their continue doing it. I yeah, think, exactly. Yes. That's right. exactly right. I, I think the reason the train works is that you stop. Do you? That's, you did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, oh, sure. I, I think every, I think that's. The I think point. that's a spoiler. Yeah, you're never going to play it more than the end once. game. Is yeah. you just walk away when you realize what's going right. on, or right. you continue playing. Right. right. So I, th I but think. But the that, one guy who's just the one guy's like, like, hey, guys, oh, this is really fun. Come on. No, I really want to. Let's do just a couple more turns. I really. I have this. It's. I think we can fit one more. It's called, it's called <laughs> spot the sociopath in your group. Jeez, <laughs> uh, Carl. <laughs> um. <laughs> so I think it's very important. You're just trying to have this message that the thing you're doing, making the player do over and over again, is the thing that you want to convey. 
Yeah, and so that's the issue when we're trying to make a game oh. that's like a roguelike MMO, you play for hundreds of hours, and mm-hmm. it's like, it's hard. how do you tell them that's, that's you know... Yeah, we message. just have to like eject every time right before the thing blows up with like little characters, little guys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, totally, yeah, I, that is on my list. <laughs> I mean, you can do that. You can just take the teeth out of it. Yeah, it's, it's an option. but yeah. that's well, because the little guys. I mean, I well, I don't know how much you want to say, but that that would play into some of how it works. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah. It, it, oh no, in no, our it, case, it, yes. it perfectly fits in yeah. the mechanics. Yeah. And if it's good enough for GI Joe. <laughs> That's right. That thing in GI Joe, like, does no one ever die? Yeah, no even, even the Cobra guys really parachute out. Really? Yeah. They all go. They all go good after that, I guess. I don't know, yeah. I mean, they go to jail or something. <laughs> they keep fighting. They just walk to jail. <laughs> right, yeah. Walk just directly to jail. Time, <laughs> oh, oh, geez. Geez. That's yeah. See, that stings because Obama was... Sub- Anyways. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I uh, just wanted to do a little camera check. Um, anyways, uh, so that's pretty good. Let's, uh, we got some tall bears. Yeah, we should, we're playing this. Let's play let's, a little I bit more. We'll get to a time match. Let's finish this. Okay. 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 Should we just try to finish this as quickly yeah, as possible? Yeah, okay, well. Then you do it. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go for score here. I'm just gonna see what I can do. Ruth. Justice. Is there an 8A? Can I retain? No. Um, try detain. <laughs> no! There's a D. There's no A, though. Detone. <laughs> Detone. That's what I do in yoga class. Um, but compound words are difficult for a word game because it's like you know it's like uh, like detone is probably not in the dictionary, but what is detone? Or detune or something, option. you know, like oh, fixing yeah. it or like oh. re- or re-upload or something is probably not in yeah. there. Whereas upload is. Oh right. I need to teach it all these Greek and Latin prefixes. Pre-buffer. And there's no end. This is <laughs> the times like these are when I want a wild card. So much. Look you, at that. Position. No, no. Look at those okay. double bear pillars. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's they're like, yeah. like. They're the gates of beardom. I yeah. do. I would love to have like a mode where you try to draw specific bear shapes from like that, and you're not allowed oh, to use cool. letters like that. Can I, can I tell you guys about a, a crazy idea I have for a video game? Yeah. Um, sounds so cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would love it if there was a power up. Thing where you spelled the word freeze or ice or cold, and then it would do a free effect. In this game? In any game. Oh yeah. Yeah, sure. But there right. is. Cool. You can use that. <laughs> That's free. There's a. It's hard. It's hard to make that work. There, there, like there, there is a game. Just, just put I, some scribble knots in your game. I can't. I can't mention it though. Oh. But someone in the game nest is. Yes. <gasps> on I know which like game that. you're talking about. Oh really? Yes. Oh really? I didn't know that it did that. Well, no. it might not do. That, but it's but pretty it could. similar it in a yeah. Hmm. Huge plug for Game Nest. If you want to find out more, move to San Francisco <laughs> and join, and then befriend <laughs> us, earn our trust, <laughs> weasel your way in, and then you'll find out. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what these people are talking about. No, no, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so, so can you explain me why is it like that one bear type takes over the other? So, like if you like would combine the bears, like you'll see that the yeah. dog bear right. might get eaten up by like mm-hmm. the Abraham Lincoln bear, or the opposite. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's pretty arbitrary. My, I think it might be that the bigger bear eats the smaller eats the... one. But I mean, obviously, there's a lot of bears combining at once, so I'm, it might actually be totally arbitrary. Does it just pick one? Is a uh, the developer on this chat. Dylan's Gibble word? Dylan's no. plugging the game nest. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> Gee, there we go. <laughs> Followed up by boy for <laughs> our full bear, Monty. Oh, the oh big, bear. big bear! That's one big bear! <laughs> Dog bear. So, um, so basically, if you don't get a big bear every single time you play, you should feel ashamed. <laughs> yes. yes, everybody does. <laughs> you found a rare panda bear. Panda bear. Panda bear is pretty good. He's yeah. beloved by millions. I love him. What does he do? Uh, he lasts longer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been called. The, he should have been called the coffee bear. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Wait, there is a coffee there. Oh, that's pretty good. It's, it's really on point. Trout is what's for dinner. That's actually <laughs> could be accurate. No. Well, no, because kind of oh, that would be very vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. Nothing yeah. bites harder than the truth. I like the <laughs> boned trout books. You know, you can actually <laughs> bone a trout. Good. You can bone a trout. <laughs> okay, I don't want that. Debone. It's the same thing. No, there's got to be something good. I had boned in here, and I guess there was one. So we did. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like that, actually. Yeah. It's like, you know, when there's inconvenient something sort of... <laughs> yeah. I mean, also, it's nothing bites harder than the truth. Exactly. He only talks about uh, climate change when he goes to bar. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Short but sweet. All right, we're done here. <laughs> okay. That's... Um, the other day I got, like, uh, I heard, I heard uh, Legendary Koala Bear. It's like a chapter Whoa. four legendary bear, I think. And um, yeah. we kind of afterwards, I like, felt kind of guilty because I was like, those things are pretty rare. And I, I felt like I'd taken it away from someone else. Whoa! Like, yeah, yeah. Is that it? Doesn't work that that's way. Not but it. I still, every time I see it, I feel bad. <laughs> wow. Good big heart. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We can we can try out a short match. Okay. Um, oh, we can do it for that. Oh, before you. Oh, oh, oh no, sorry. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I was gonna say that like, easy bear is asleep because that's one of the things bears do. Uh, you use them, yeah. you can't use them immediately thereafter. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can wake them up if you pay them. Right? Yeah, which, just like as you do, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> yeah. Hibernation. Whoa. Four. I got two minutes here, people. Mm -hmm. Speed Four round. Bag. So no bag. Bag is what I thought you were gonna do. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but Wabane, yeah, yeah. 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 alright, mm -hmm. okay, this is getting serious already. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for chirps? No, uh, Trons? Oh, alright. Tron. Do you ever get angry, you get angry okay. at them when they're a little... Mm -hmm. So now we're screwed, we I-A-E, this is, this is a bad Oh, bad that's, that's a wide bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, you gotta decide synapse? which one you want. No, Synapse has a Y in it, damn it. Um, oh, we can't rely on fish for help. Okay, so what we do is Siamese? we're gonna let the bottom row go. Oh, static. Siamese would be amazing, but it's probably a proper noun and we're not gonna get it. Oh my god! Oh! You are incredible! <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, now we have four letters. Do it again. Alright, Fangy. No, A is in here. Damn it. Fangy? Fangy? Hey. You got static on your mic. Uh, thanks. I don't think it's static. I think it's actually a fan. Because our external. Um, hi, random stream start hitting around. Hey, come on in. You can say hi. You can say hi. There's a. It's Dylan. <laughs> Here, it's that. It's that camera. Right now. Yeah, you're oh wait, in. you're not in. You got to be on the couch. Really close to oh, yeah, you have to like sit on the. Right trying to time the match. Well, that's really good. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about the white noise, you guys. It's a. Uh, it's an internal mic that was used at the last minute. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sacrifice the wire. Yeah. You can just like turn off the fan. Can't we? Yeah, and then, and then the computer will just blow up. Oh, yeah. that fan, that fan. I see. Should I try? No, it's the, it's the laptop. It's the oh, laptop. It's just yeah. Yeah. I can yeah, unplug the, the power. Game. It's really bad. And yeah. it'll, it'll jip, jip it is. It, it, the power right. needs to We're going to form a bear in this little upper left corner. Yeah. Um, and burn the right side, too. Anything could happen. It's static in the net. You will not have a big bear in this room. Yeah, this is this is it's true what they say about playing timed spelling games on stream. The yeah. notorious comment we've all heard. Yeah, that's a cool thing. That's right. no, I don't. I don't um, this, is, this is real. Shell? There's no other. Out. Oh my god. I want to. Fungi. 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 Guys, I, I can't. I can't. Oh, go it's done. This is like the worst time match we've ever had. I just want to say that. Oh, well, I mean, that's because you're in front of you know, points. But I mean, that's at the right. very least, you got a big panda. You got major panda. That was not a big panda. Oh. It's a good one word, though. You beat those. Siamese. Guys. You got smart. You got smart. Siamese, eh? One day I'm gonna like film in the privacy of my own home. I'm gonna give it to all you guys so you can see. <laughs> right, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stretch bear. Stretch bears are good. Stretch bear increases the length of time though. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Siamese bear in a walk. Why are you any better words here? Where's Siamese? <laughs> <laughs> I shall Whoa. true rock. I shall true. That's the exact one. I shall true rock this place. You know, these, are, these are not doing it for me. No, these are tough. These are, these are, these are awesome. That one's gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. I think I think maybe the white noise has calmed down. You know, if the white noise sticks around, guys, just relax to it. Uh, <laughs> it's like whale sounds that we can't stop. It's a feature, not a bug. It is. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we can look at our bear collection and see what we've got. We've got five bears. 
So I cheated. I was asking questions in chat, but now I can ask questions. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, that's, 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 that's a unique wanna, privilege. Um, come in a little bit further. You gotta, you gotta, I mean, you gotta sit down. Really close. Close Uncomfortably close. Please. Yeah. I was just, gonna ask very quickly. I don't know how hot this mic is. Oh, oh yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's did you guys purposely leave in all the naughty words to increase your virality? of the game? Like, did no. you guys have conversation that was like a conscious effort to say, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave in all of these terrible things in terms of like vocabulary and then it's gonna go super viral all over the internet, which it kind of has, which is great, right? We left them in because it was the right thing to do. Okay. We were also aware of the virality component. No, I think it's awesome. I think it's fantastic. It's great. I mean, it's like, it's more fun. I mean, it's viral. It goes viral because it's fun for people. People like totally. crude shit. So yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, there's no, there's no better contrast than seeing, than seeing these cute bears <laughs> that I love so much, right? Mixed in with the people in the chat were screaming boner earlier and all yeah, caps yeah. and stuff. I felt it. Like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That is actually, I feel like, our thing. We like make really cute games that are very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, like, Road Not Taken, it's like extremely cute, it's like there's a lot of dying children in it. Like, what? Right. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, no, the, the hardest thing people have to get over when they first start playing Road Not Taken is that in order to save the children from the forest, which is the primary goal in the game, you have to pick up and fling them. Sometimes, oh, yeah. sometimes very far distances, and then they like, oof! It's like, uh, <laughs> You're definitely hurting them slightly. Offspring fling. Offspring fling, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, a whole game well. based around that mechanic of throwing your children. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a good one. Kyle yeah, Butler. Yeah, yeah. Good call. So, uh, hey, do you want to introduce yourself there, Dylan? Uh, hi there, uh, chat. My name is Dylan Jones. I'm team making video games over here in San Francisco at uh, Game Nights, where these lovely folks are. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. All right. It's part of the Game Nest crew, and uh, once again, if you move to San Francisco and join up, you could also have uh, drop-ins from fun people. Do any time. Join us. Swing by. We have like a tall wooden uh, picket fence in the center of the main room. People occasionally put their heads out. Like yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna yes and that. <laughs> <laughs> like a good improv. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never say no. Never Next say no. I appreciate it. <laughs> and don't bring guns in like improv. There you go. Oh, Problem solved. Oh, yeah. is, that, is that one of the improv rules? That's one of the, one of the, bring the two gun, improv yeah. rules are always say yes yeah. and then never bring in a gun. Because wow. it like dominates the scene, right? Right. The, right. And right. now everybody has to turn their attention to you. So like the classic thing <laughs> is to walk in and say no, and I've got a gun, so I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> and, that's, and that's how you know you're good at improv. That's yeah. also why it's one of the rules of life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that, yeah. Uh, it's it's good advice. It if demands you're attention. Or not. Yeah. Uh, that's true. <laughs> do you have uh, Dylan? Do you have any questions for these guys? I have been tuning along this whole time, and it has been absolutely fascinating. Oh, thank you. It, is, it has been a truly excellent stream. I think Chad is also hilarious, almost as hilarious as your, as your puns, Bill. Oh, uh, well, gracias, senor. I do have a final question, as I was playing Alpha Bear today in Fart, actually, having a oh, great time. And I was, like the sticklers, don't and you? I, uh, and, I, and I like it, and I, and I was wondering, because I lost connection two yeah, minutes I later. Know, right? Oh, no. What oh, happens boy. when I click retry now? Literally, why, why are you doing this to us, man? I'm so, oh, I, was <laughs> I was wondering if I was actually retrying. Oh, no, no, no. no well, I, I just retry. Yeah. No, does it actually? Well, yeah, if there's no. Basically, the game does not work offline. Mm -hmm. um, literally, two friends tweeted at me during the stream. They're like, why does the game work offline? Well, <laughs> so in your defense, um, when I was playing, I was yeah. offline for a good five minutes. Yeah, you can finish a game. And you can play a game okay. you're already in while you're no. offline. But basically, we really spent a lot of time, especially, I mean, not me, but the developers spent a lot of time trying to make it work uh, offline. And it did for a while, and it was buggy as shit and yeah. really broken. Why? Why? What's, yeah, it, what's, what's it doing on there? online? Uh, basically, uh, one of the, security is a big part of it, right? Uh, so okay. the issue is it's really, really easy to cheat and yeah. like, it's like steal free money and stuff like that. Uh, also, yeah. it's not just that. It's one of the things that we provide on Android and I, uh, possibly on iOS later is we have cloud savings. So you can play the game on one device and pick uh, it up on any device later. Hmm. And we were, that was the main thing that made it really hard right. to um, work off one because we had all these crazy syncing problems. Right. I mean that in itself, from I feel like a player's yeah. perspective, is worth it in itself. Just yeah. be able to save my data everywhere and then take it on the go, right. switch my devices and all that jazz. And that was the main right. trade off. Like that was the main thing. It's like it was just so like there you go, lot. people on the internet. That's all <laughs> game design That's and how you <laughs> really are is a series of sacrifices and trade offs. <laughs> That's right. I was curious, yeah. Well, because I, I was wondering, because when I clicked, I was hitting retry, right. and and I was yeah. and I was wondering if I was actually doing something. Yeah, it's just checking to see if you're online. Okay, exactly. Yeah. Cool. 
you know, but, but we might, maybe one day, if we can. Basically, like, if the game does well, then we will have the money to invest more resources in it. There and, you go. And, like, get through all the nasty BS that you need. Another reason sure to that get that, that money. So uh, everybody in the chat should go buy some new money. <laughs> buy some money. It's just $4.99. Yep. Yep. That's right. We'll Don't buy the infinite now. honey, just become a whale. Become one of those guys who just every Saturday night, uh, 3 a.m., you're out of your senses, you're buying honey, you're investing hard, you wake up the next day, you have no regret. <laughs> because this game, this game's so good. That is, that's what people tell me. Like yeah. that. That's it. <laughs> I've heard that before. All right, and then my final, final question, which I promise, huh? is, okay. what, again, I know you guys were talking about bears earlier, but is this like, and, and I think I saw uh, Daniel Cook in there say that's like the, the classic Mario theme like that. Like in terms of like having Nintendo always having like that same class of yeah, character absolutely. in there that people oh, can relate yeah. to. Yeah, no, Where is. are we gonna see bears next? Where are they gonna pop up? Are, are bears <laughs> flying planes? Are yeah, bears? Yeah. Oh, where are they? Are they bears shoot out? Where are the bears? Are they gonna stop or? Where it makes sense? I mean, yeah. as long as why why have it make sense? Why not just put let's just let's just go all in. Let's, ba bear with I want more silver. bears. <laughs> I need more of this incredible art. Let's, come on. It, there, the super ironic part about all this is the company is Spry Fox and it has a logo that's a fox, yeah. which I mean, is not a bear. You're just gonna have to change it to be <laughs> Spry so Bear. Like Spry bear, bear yeah. <laughs> yeah, just make the ears is like smaller and it'll be like a little bear now. Oh, oh, yeah, what right. if it's a bear in a fox costume? Bear in a fox costume. Oh my god. John. Dude. It's like something from Broken Age. Just like this really grotesque face Terry thing. That's your little... It's like hyper realistic. Yeah, like... Bear! Yeah. Anyway, there will be... I'm sure these bears will appear in some respect in everything we ever do for the future. The internet needs more bears, I think, if anything. I'm sure you guys learned a couple of lessons making this game. That usually happens in games, but I think my number one takeaway is that we need more bears in our lives. Mas osos, por favor. The way that really? they move is really nice. They just like... Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, they, yeah. they have a nice little jiggle to them. Yeah. <laughs> the jizzle, jiggle physics in this game are incredibly real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finally, they're used for a good purpose. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, those sleeping bears. Adorable. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, Bill refuses to waste bears because <laughs> they need a rest. They've been working hard. <laughs> it's true. I feel bad if I wake them up early. Do, do, do they confirm? Is it like, oh no, it doesn't confirm. It's just like, oh, look, look now. It looks so upset. Wow, that's here. a pretty cool animation. My yeah. hat is so happy. You, you just gave him his favorite frettino. He's got plenty of energy to go. Just inject it in. <laughs> well, uh... Dylan, you want to plug uh, something? No, this is uh, this, everybody go and download this game right now. Seriously, I've been having a blast playing it. It's been it's ser sincerely, it is excellent, and I am not a word person at all. I I, I find it very difficult to play a word game because I just sit there because my spelling is awful. I just sit there and I go, is this a word? No, it's not. No, it's not. Is this a word? No, it's not. Because I'm just going for like a ten-card. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I'm, right, I'm exactly looking for the that. first word game with autocorrect on it too because it's just oh. like. <laughs> Right. Did you mean to spell? Yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Like we let you use any word that's like distance one from a true word or something. Yeah. Or like if I like mix up a T and a E or something, you know, like. Totally. Right. <laughs> she put in a Siri Easter egg where Siri just like pops and says, "What are you trying to spell? What are you doing?" <laughs> your, your phone's just like, "What are you trying right now? You're awful." No, go check it out. Go, yeah. go, go, give it a play. And there's lots of other games. I was also linking in the chat. I'm sure some people saw it, but I tried to link to Road Not Taken as well in there. Thanks, bro. Uh, oh, game is nice. absolutely more, more good games in there. Well, how about uh, this? I, I want to at least get your, your Twitter handle, everybody. You want to start? I am at TD Day. It's super easy. Just three letters. Wait. T D J. I can put it in the chat. Oh yeah, Daniel's gonna chat it. Perfect. T D J. Uh, um, and then. Uh, Alex, you're at Blinkity. Blinkity. Yeah, I just realized <laughs> no, you, you guys are all cool with your. Players. Okay, th I mean, this one might yes. require like uh, it's, it's people to so like. Hard. I think you can do it. See, I've this got is this so, is so many blink. laptops. Yeah, <laughs> just type it with the like edge of the other laptop. Uh, Blinkity. Yeah, Blinkity. Blinkity. That's me. Uh, oh, you're gonna you're gonna love mine. Um, yeah, yours is uh, yeah, unpronounceable. At what Q U X. N O R E is pronounced Coxmore. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Can Coxmore. you tell us the origin? I've never oh, yeah. Uh, uh, it just sounded cool. Um, <laughs> and you just you also made that you say it. Was that a leftover <laughs> from high school? Q U X is like one of the one of the things. I, 
you know, uh, I forget called them, the medicine type of variables, or there's some some phrase for these things where foo, bar, oh, baz, oh, baz, and cuts is the fourth. I know, oh. I'm, apparently I didn't sit in for the fourth class of <laughs> so it, it was like super nerdy, a little pecky, and then I was like, and then I added the mark as I needed to be a little more than four. Needed a little bit more, more right. than letters. And so you're like, I need more it's letters, so I'm just... literally going to type more. <laughs> more letters. <laughs> that, that, that is, that is, this is my computer science joke, I need more, so I'm going to type that more. <laughs> That's right. And this is why I'm not an artist. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think... Uh, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. This Thank is, you all for that crash. This is hey, absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna problem. I'm gonna do a humble clap for everybody in the chat and watching at home. Oh, Don't clap. None, none of you clap okay. because we're Clapping clapping all for them. Look at this audience. They said, yeah, that. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh okay. Well, yes, we can. They, they helped us oh, out. Screen names are so smooth. So um, <laughs> all right. So this was the first episode of uh, Crater House uh, Cast, also sort of a game nest cast, and I. Whatever. Uh, we're gonna hopefully do this every couple Tuesdays. Yeah, every Maybe other every, week. Every other week. That's every what we're other Tuesday. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh, other than that, I just want to really quickly plug. Of course, is also uh, mostly walking on Monday nights and uh, fun with Bill and Maria on Sunday nights. Um, you can follow my Twitter and stuff. Don't forget Sean Bouchard's play by play. Sean Bouchard's play by play. Do you know when that is? I think that's Wednesdays. Wednesdays, I think. It'd be more convenient just to have like a live stream, just like be you know, like a cam girl, basically, just all the time, the Bill Show. <laughs> oh, like, like a sort of like a at this point, show? it's like you're on ninety percent like of the an, time like anyway. Ed, like yeah. Ed TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like we can do that. We can set up in Game Nest. It's yeah. Like, we'll just I'll just point my laptop towards your desk actually, right. and then we can watch. <laughs> just you have all like the time. a Game Nest Bill camera. Yeah. Well, streaming's good for when you have the personality type where you need the hug that only a stranger can give you. That's, that's, that's cutting deep there. <laughs> and on that note, on that note uh, seriously, anything else you want to plug? Going once, going twice. Keep okay. being awesome, internet. Yeah. Yeah. Stay good. Download some Sprite Fox. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Bye. Yeah, this was fun. I'm gonna try and stay.